Why film, right? I'm assuming you're not making crazy budget movies, so why would you want to shoot on film? Well, you'd want to shoot on film because it's nice, it looks cool. But then actually filming on film is really expensive and it's quite awkward to do. So film emulation is that perfect in between where you get the added advantage of being able to apply this effect to things like graphics, but also to footage that you couldn't normally shoot on film like drone footage and GoPro action camera footage. It's not just movies, look at music videos too. The look of film is commonly used even in places you might not expect it. Just look at this music video I filmed a while ago. This is what the music video looks like, and now applying Dehancer, it suddenly provides character and depth, which I wish I'd had, with things like these large full screen titles going from looking like PowerPoint slide overlays to characterized graphics. So now you know why, let's look at how I did it. And just in case you haven't figured it out yet, Dehancer Pro is an all-in-one film emulation plugin for DaVinci Resolve. When you see this Dehancer graphic on the screen, you know the footage has been emulated to some extent with this Dehancer effect. First, I went out and got some footage around a nice looking park. I got a lot of low angle stuff of myself because I didn't really want to get a tripod out, so opted for putting the camera on the floor instead. I think the laziness may have actually sprung a creativity because this shot here is an example of one I'm particularly proud of. Nothing too fancy, got it home and straight into DaVinci Resolve. Now, I've already installed this plugin, which you can do just by running the installer, restarting your DaVinci Resolve and adding your license key here. If you do consider getting any of their tools, you can use my code in the description to get 10% off. This is an affiliate link, so it does help me out, and Dehancer have given me a copy of the paid software for making this review video. Starting off, when you install Dehancer, there are three ways you can use it. First, by applying it straight from the edit tab. Second, by using the fusion node. And third, the way I strongly recommend, as an effect onto a node in the color tab. Adding it to the color tab is done by making sure you've got something to grade in your timeline first, and then going to the color tab, creating a new node as so, and dragging on the Dehancer Pro effect. You should now be able to see the controls in the settings tab. To make the most of the effect, the first thing you'll want to do is change this input section to match your camera settings. All right, so here's what I've gone for here. For this one, I've chosen Kodak Ektar 100, pulled to about negative one to get a more realistic colored look. With real film, this push and pull value is about how you read the ISO of the film, but practically here, it's a way of changing the brightness and colors of the film look quickly. In the film developer, I've gone for a color boost of about 53, adding a pop of color, making things generally look a bit nicer. Color boosting is nothing new here though, and so whilst it's nice to have it here, you can achieve a very similar effect with the color boost option in the primary color wheels. The color head. Having my shadows up to about 60, mid-tones 40, and highlights negative 16, adding a bit of contrast in. The labels for these are just the part of the image they say on the tin, and if you're familiar with Premiere Pro, then this is a very similar color grading system. Again, this isn't necessarily new in many senses, however having it here is nice. I've got the film grain at 8.5 for a subtle but still visible effect. I've got my halation at 50, which adds some reddish orange halos to the edge of things. This definitely is a more unique effect, and whilst DaVinci Resolve does have its own alternative in the studio version, I do particularly like Dehancer's one. Bloom at 53, which creates a nice bit of light bleed in a softer, larger area than halation. This isn't an option as a built-in effect to DaVinci Resolve, and I do think it plays a decent part in bringing out some of the highlights here. The vignette is also enabled with the shown values. I think where you do see Dehancer coming into its own here more are the film looks, bloom and halation. Especially with the film look, DaVinci Resolve Studio's film look creator tool just doesn't have the same bank of pre-made options and input options. And then of course, there's the way it all comes together into a single effect built specifically for this. The combination of these things I've found makes the process of recreating a filmic look quicker and definitely more accessible. One of the things that particularly excites me with this is the ability to be able to integrate graphics in things like music videos and short films, as if you've ever tried some visual effects, you'll know that if you can apply an effect to both the footage and your visuals, it will help join them to less uncanny valley looking results. This also comes into that nice subtitles effect with the halation and bloom, so if you want to see a video on making this characterized subtitle effect specifically, then leave a comment down below. Having said this, in general, I think it's the combination of everything that produces a rich and surprisingly accurate film emulation effect. Bear in mind, I've only used some of the options in this Dehancer Pro effect here, so there definitely is more to explore, with everything from recreating a film gatewave effect to applying false color. And whilst we're talking about these extra features, Dehancer Pro can generate a lot of your options for an even easier reusability and to help with playback running smoother too. 
I have found that, understandably, Dehancer can quickly start tanking your frame rate, even more so with higher qualities than this 1080p. But what do I think of this? Well, this is definitely a powerful and useful plugin, there's no doubt about it. I can already tell I'll be using this in many of my upcoming projects. I have found in some scenarios the effect can look slightly more like a filter, especially if there isn't light bleed highlights for things like the halation to look its full potential. However, generally, the effect is natural and realistic looking. If you've got the funds available and want this kind of look for your short films or to provide extra value to what you can produce for clients, then this is a fantastic tool that you can create a great look for your footage with. But hold on, before you go and impulsively buy this, I can't recommend the free version enough for testing it's right for you, especially as you can get Dehancer for photo editing tools as well as video editors. Whilst this free version does have a watermark, why not download it? Even if you weren't planning on getting it, apply it to an old project and see if the plugin is a fit. To do so, just download the plugin as normal, but don't input an activation key, leaving it in the free mode. If you do end up buying it, be sure to use my code RESOLVETUTORIALS10, all caps, so you can save with that 10% discount. 